Hi everyone, this is Crystal and today I am sharing uh, everything that I purchased in April of 2020. Um, I decided to do this haul video just to um, follow along with my um, my attempt to be as transparent as possible on this channel and let you know um, what I'll be working with in the coming weeks, uh, what you'll be able to see in my videos. So I made three purchases this month and uh, the first one was from Colorcast Designs. So um, in case you are not aware, um, Jessica of Colorcast Designs has had to put the design team on hold for now because of the pandemic and her current home situation. Um, she's not able to maintain that. Um, and I was on the design team and um, as a kind of consolation, she did offer us a coupon code to um, go pick out some things from her shop, which is what I did. I purchased some things that I had had my eye on and um, some bits from the, um, what was the most recent release at the time. It would have been the March release. So I grabbed this set of hearts. They have a white border with um, these multicolored inserts. I also grabbed a set of wood veneer that um, I don't remember the name of this. I'll have to look back and see um, if any of this is still available. I will be sure to link it all in the description box below. But I really love the Colorcast Design uh, wood veneer pieces. They're super thin and they're self-adhesive so you don't have to add your own adhesive to them. So there's a ton in this set. Um, I felt like there were a bunch that would be really usable for me. And then I also got the pandemic one, uh, the one that's all about the current situation as well. Um, in this little container, let me pull these out. If I can get it open. <laughs> okay. So I got a little 2020 charm. Uh, I plan to put that on um, the outside of my um, like crafted album for this year. And then I got these few. So there was a this week, today, right now, and market fresh. Ooh, right now and market fresh. So those are the ones that I picked up. And then, as you can see behind all of this, I picked up one of the six by eight acrylic albums. I had been wanting one for a long time and um, I just couldn't pass up the good deal on um, getting one. So it has a protective coating on it right now, so you can't see, but it is clear acrylic. Let's see if I can just maybe peel back a corner of it. I probably won't be able to. My nails are kind of messed up at the moment. Um, so I've been doing the 100 Day Project and playing a lot more ukulele than normal, and uh, it's pretty rough on my very fragile nails, so they are... Um, yeah, it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna have to get out my little tool to get that off. But it is a clear acrylic album, obviously front and back um, and in six by eight size. So that is the uh, order I placed from Colorcast Designs. I also placed an order from the stamp market. So um, I, I've i been loving the Miss Modern projects that I've been seeing around the internet. And there was some Miss Modern in the uh, May Citrus Twiskets add-on, the scrapbook add-on kit. Uh, there were a few pieces from Miss Modern in that um, in that kit, but I decided to go ahead and pick up the six by six paper pad as well as the ephemera pack. Uh, and the thing that really inspired me to make the order was this die cut, so, or this die. Um, I can't remember who I saw use this. I really wish I could remember so I could give them credit. But if I do, if I can find it, I will link uh, link their Instagram down below. But um, I saw somebody use this die on a page and I absolutely fell in love with it. I had to have it. So um, I wanted to make an order to get this. And since I was placing an order anyway, I just picked up a few things from Miss Modern so that I could use those. Likely I will be using them in Project Life. Um, let me do just do a quick flip through in case you haven't seen this collection already. It is beautiful I and mean, the colors are super bright and vibrant and um, just fun patterns. And I think this is gonna work really well in Project Life in my um, pocket pages. So uh, I'm super excited to use this. Okay, so that was what I purchased, just a small order from the stamp market. Uh, the last purchase I made was from Joanne. Um, 
And I picked up a few more things from, from Joanne. So um, I wanted to get the project pad from the Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters collection, and you can only get that at Joanne. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have picked up the other things from scrapbook.com, but since I was already placing an order from Joanne, I decided just to get it all from there. Um, but I really wanted this because um, well, for one thing, this collection is gorgeous, and I find that these project pads are a really great way to um, purchase enough of the collection to be able to make a few projects uh, without really breaking the bank. So you get um, all those sheets of paper and then two full sheets, uh, 12 by 12 sheets of stickers, and these are a bit thinner than um, what you would get in the cardstock stickers. But um, I feel like these are a bit thicker than the last ones that I've gotten. They're definitely thicker than the um, sticker books, which I feel like the last project pads that I purchased were kind of similar to the, the sticker books, the hashtag sticker books. So yeah, so that was what I got from the Heidi Swap collection. I also got the stamp set basically just for <laughs> this um, rainbow stamp, although I love all these other ones too. I will definitely get some use out of those, but it was this rainbow, this three-piece rainbow stamp that really made me um, want to pick this up. Uh, and then I also picked up just a few things from the newest Jen Hadfield, Hadfield collection, the Pebbles Hey Hello. Uh, I got the 6x8 pad, the um, 6x12 sticker sheet, and then the ephemera pack, the phrases ephemera pack as well. Um, I, again, I'm planning to likely use this in Project Life. It's just really pretty. The colors are really gorgeous. They actually match the um, Miss Modern collection pretty well, so I may just use them together eventually if I get down to a smaller amount in my, in my stash. But um, yeah, it's just a fun collection and I thought it would be fun to play with. And then the last thing I picked up from Joanne was this uh, Genius Platform for I do not have an Evolution. I have an Epic Six, which is super old. And uh, my mats basically don't work anymore. So I needed to get something. I was on the verge of thinking I was going to have to replace my entire machine. And then I realized that you could still get these even though they are super old. Um, I was able to get this platform, I think for around $30, which is way cheaper than buying a whole new machine and um, it should work in my Epic 6. And the bonus is that this is magnetic. Um, the Epic 6 is kind of upside down compared to other uh, die cutting. So um, I, kept, I, I kept struggling with getting the dies and the papers placed in the right place without using washi tape. I basically had to use washi tape the, for every single die I wanted to cut, uh, which is super annoying. But this is magnetic, so the die should stick to it, and then I can just place the um, paper over the top, and it should work much better. So I splurged a little bit and um, bought this platform uh, just mostly because it prevents my Epic Six from being obsolete and lets me extend its life a little bit longer. Okay, so those are the things I purchased this month. Um, I did also purchase a couple digital collections. Uh, I purchased a few things from Brandy Kincaid's shop, The Shiny Bits. She had a super awesome sale happening um, earlier, well, I guess last month, so in April. And uh, you already seen me use a few of those things in my projects. And then I also picked up a few things from Humble and Create from the Digital Press, um, which you've also seen me use as well, or at least a few of them, because again, it was a super awesome sale. And um, I tried to stock up on digital collections when they're on sale, because um, it's a great way to get supplies at a really good price. Okay, so that is everything I purchased in April. Um, yeah, hopefully you will see me use these things in upcoming videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description or in the comments below. I will leave links to everything in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all back here soon.